The Marquesas receive few visitors. Large airplanes can't land here, and there are no hotels. Though the early inhabitants were a warrior culture practicing cannibalism, Captain Cook found these islands hospitable when he visited during his second voyage in 1774. In 1842, when the French annexed the Marquesas, the population was estimated to have been 60,000. By 1926, the ravages of European diseases, tribal warfare, and a collapsing culture had reduced the population to less than 2,500 people. Although the population has again grown to about 7,000, there is an eerie sense on these islands that a vanished people still haunt their former homes. These geologically young islands have no reef and no surrounding flatlands. Each island is sharply divided by steep ridges, formidable barriers to travel and communication. Nukuhiva, the largest island in the group, has a population of 2,400. Its principal port, Taiwai, is the economic and administrative center for the entire group. The chief crop for export here is copra, the mature fruit of the coconut palm, which is used for making soap, cooking oil, and cosmetic products. Harvesting copra is still the simple act it's always been, with the sun doing much of the work. The nuts are split open and allowed to dry. After a few days' exposure, the meat is easy to remove from the shells. After that, it's dried further on protected racks. Once bagged, it's ready to be sold and loaded onto the whale boats. Although many traditions of their forefathers have been swept away by fate and time, the island's tradition of carving has not been lost. At the Catholic Cathedral in Taiwai, many skillfully wrought carvings testify to a strong artistic sensibility. Today's artists have the same eye for detail that their forefathers had, and the fact remains that Marquesans are considered the best carvers in all of the Pacific. Although occasionally they transport their crafts to Tahiti, the eventual owner of this bowl is likely to be a traveler from the Aranui. Wood isn't the only medium the carvers work. These contemporary artisans have found that volcanic rock also meets the demands of their craft. In a culture that has no word for art, carving is made to serve a functional purpose. Christianity and Western culture are recent arrivals in the islands, and the veneer of westernization is in some cases only skin deep. Ancient dress and body decoration, which can be studied in artwork and photos, was banned for many years. Originally used as a sign of rank in society, the meaning of ancient tattoo symbols has been lost. But as the search for cultural identity becomes more important, the tattoo is making a comeback. Tapa cloth is still made in the Marquesas, although it is not as widely used as in Tonga and Samoa. Printed pieces can be purchased, but the traditional cloth was worn in its pure, natural state. Unlike the Tongan mulberry tapa, here the cloth was made from the inner bark of the breadfruit tree. Breadfruit has many uses, and in the days when the island sustained a much larger population, the highlands were thickly planted with it. As rare as they are difficult to build, the few miles of road demonstrate the difficulty of cross-island travel here. In some places, a truck or car is useless, and the horse becomes a part of everyday life.